the Defence Secretary sacked after his boss decided Gavin Williamson was behind the leak of classified information from the most secret meeting in Whitehall. In her letter, the Prime Minister said there was compelling evidence suggesting his responsibility as she asked him to leave her government. Blamed about a leak from the sacrosanct National Security Council over plans to allow Chinese company Huawei to build Britain's 5G mobile network. He refuted it last week. So are you or any of your officials behind the Huawei leak? How are you? Uh, absolutely not. And did so again tonight, saying, I strenuously deny I was in any way involved in this leak. Not since the Profumo affair of 1963 has a cabinet minister been sacked for a national security breach. This a devastating fall from grace for a man who went from new MP to defence secretary in seven short years. They'd helped each other on the way up. Mr Williamson, a kingmaker to Mrs May in 2016, he was richly rewarded. Delighted are you to be chief whip? Very privileged. Are you surprised? Then he played a critical role in getting the DUP to back Mrs May's minority government and he was rewarded again. Promoted to Defence Secretary, he believed he'd act as kingmaker to the next PM. Tonight, few MPs were defending the former Defence Secretary. If any cabinet minister or anybody else who is bound by the Official Secrets Act breaks that oath, then obviously they deserve to be sacked. You are deemed to have signed the Official Secrets Act when you become a minister. He's breached that act. There's some very high profile civil servants who've gone to jail for breaching that act and I don't think that he should evade investigation just because he's a high profile politician. But the former Defence Secretary told me tonight that he would have wanted a police investigation. He said it would have given him an opportunity to clear his name because there was no evidence against him. He thinks that this was a witch hunt from the start. In his words, a kangaroo court with a summary execution. Number 10 say Mr Williamson's sacking is the end of the matter for them and there will be no police follow-up. But it's not the end of the matter for him. Mrs May's powerful ally, now an enemy on her back benches, at the very moment she needs it least. Beth Rigby, Sky News.